Hello, my beautiful, glorious families. Okay, today is one of everyone's favorite food, fried rice. And I really don't know if Americans have fried rice, <laughs> but it can never be as yummy as my country's fried rice. So this is Nigerian fried rice, and we all have different styles of making our fried rice. Like I said, this is my kitchen, and my style of making food today may not be the same tomorrow, because I always make my food based on my ingredients that I have ready, like available ingredients. Sometimes I just check through my kitchen, and I pick up my ingredients. So right now, today, I am going to be using some canned ingredients and um, some canned veggies and some uh, bag veggies. Like you can see, this is carrots in a bag. The sweet corn was also in a bag. Then I have the rest, green peas and green beans. I got them from a can. So these are what I'm going to use. I, I already parboiled my rice, which I'm going to show you soon. And then I added some slices uh sweet pepper because i do not want it to be too peppery my children won't hear that it won't, they won't hear that so right now i have already um added all my veggies i added my that is my um sausage this is fried rice and you can add all kinds of vegetables you know you add all kinds of vegetables of your choice Sometimes I may want to like um, shallow fry my sausage. Then that stick you're seeing in there is a butter, that cream thing. That's a stick butter. So I put stick butter because I want, um, I had it butter generally because I just want it, the rice not to be sticky. When you add butter to your um, fried rice or jollof rice, it's going to make it not to stick together. So right now I'm putting my seasoning. Remember when you are putting your oil, you just put oil to be hot, not to be to be uh, burnt. You don't let it bleach. So this is my white pepper. The other one, white pepper powder. The other one is my turmeric powder, the one I put first. This is my curry powder. And then I added just season, you know, season according to your taste. We all have different season we use. But I use varieties of seasoning. I always want to season my turmeric. Okay, this tomato bouillon, I love it a lot. I add it to all my cooking, especially my stew or if I'm making jollof rice. Oh my God, it, it makes a lot of sense. Then this is my no cube, um, no chicken cube. No, it also can be bought in an African store. It's a seasoning. It's an African seasoning cube. So this is just a minor, minor thing. Then I added um, habanero pepper. I added about three pieces so that the food will not just be tasting too, you know, too sweet. Then that's my fried rice seasoning. Believe me, if you're making a fried rice and you can add just this, just two ingredients, fried rice seasoning and turmeric powder. Honestly, you're going to get a beautiful color. With that uh, bouillon, Tomato bouillon um, seasoning, you are going to get this desired color of a fried rice. Okay, so anyway, this is um, after merging the whole seasoning together and the vegetables, I kept it, covered it for some time to boil before I started adding my, my rice. So what I did was I put it on a medium stove and then I allowed it to steam very well. Then I started adding my boiled rice. Now, listen, this is parboiled rice, which means it is not completely boiled. Remember, the rice still needs to cook a little bit so you don't completely cook your rice to the um, last stage. You allow it to parboil, not so much. So right now, I am adding my rice. And I've added a lot of rice. That's why you see this much. I didn't want to. I didn't want the video to be too lengthy. So right now, I've added most of the rice, or even all of the rice. <clears throat> and then I am mixing. I'm, I'll keep mixing till the rice, till I will no longer find any white part of the rice. So after this part, the next thing is that you have to mix very well, though. Mix very well. 
Then you can see the transformation. You close it and allow it to steam. Then I later added more butter, which is that that you are looking at. I added more of my butter. I no longer have stick butter, so I added one of my regular butter because I needed the rice to be... I didn't want to add more oil. I don't want it to be too dry, and I don't want it to be too watery, like filled with oil. So I had to add water, and I, and I, I feel it needs to be more... Uh, you know, detach. Like I don't want it to be um, to be sticky. So I'm adding more butter because the rice is full. You can see because I have a large family. So this is how I make my food. In I have two of these big pots, but this is the biggest one. The other one is smaller to this one. So you can see the colorful part of the rice. Honestly, you needed to taste this rice. It tasted like I had it only. See you all in my dining, please manage not to salivate a lot but just manage and salivate enjoy the meal with me and try and make your own especially if you're an american this easy step is very good for you you always have canned food and all these baggy vegetables just use them see you at the dining bye see you in my next video see you at the dining welcome it's time to eat We had a glorious generation for me